Aw, oh, come on, ref. What kind of call was that? Shut up! And I do believe he's running with the ball, and he's still running with the ball, and he's still carrying... Hi there. If you're not from the U.S., you probably just saw those guys and complained that what they're doing isn't real football. And you're probably thinking about turning this video off because you have no idea what this fake football is all about. Now before you do, you should know that many Americans don't know a damn thing about this football, which could lead to many awkward situations like this. Hey buddy. Yeah? Who you rooting for? Uh, I'm rooting for the striping guys. Those are the refs. The refs? That sounds tough. <laughs> Ball me. Enjoying football is one of the manliest things you can do. And if you want to survive in a world that still heavily relies on gender roles, just follow these easy steps and you can be accepted at your local football occasion in no time. Step 1. Root for the correct team. Make sure you always take a good, hard look at your surroundings. Every football team has its own unique set of colors, and much like gang warfare, if you get caught wearing the wrong colors, expect to get murked real quick. Uh, occupied? Oh no! Step two, pretend to watch the game. Make sure you always look in the general direction of the TV and react like everybody else. Come on, yes! Yes! What? Come on! What? Come on! What kind of call was that? Yeah, what kind of call was that? Damn! What? You really know football! Hello! Hello! Hello, yeah! Yeah! Step three, learn about football. Touchdown! It's important to understand the basic principles of football, which is why I've made this helpful diagram. When a player reaches the end of the field while holding a football, this is what is known as a touchdown. This helmet is known as a helmet. When a player gives up trying to perform a touchdown, he may try kicking the ball through a fork at the end of the field. This is what is known in most football games as a kickball score goal. And that is all you need to know about how the game of football works. Yes! Oh, he got a touchdown. It's a good thing his helmet prevented him from football-related injuries. Right, guys? Oh, helmet, yeah! Step four, never pass in front of the screen when the game is in progress. Blocking the view of a football match is the worst thing you could do at a football occasion. So when passing food or drink, it's okay to throw it. Yo, bro, throw me some chips. Oh, yeah. Bro! Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> Dang, you suck. If you can't throw with the perfect accuracy you're accustomed to, it's probably because you are hungry. Make sure to always have a Snickers in your pocket, just in case. Snickers. And finally, the last most important step. Don't try to rationalize why it's called football. <laughs> I am so impressed that you know so much about the sport of football. And I totally respect a man who stays culturally in line with how the media portrays masculinity. I know, right? But here's the thing, why do they call it football? I mean, the only time that your foot ever touches the ball is when you're doing a kickball score goal through the big fork. If anything, it should be called handball, or runny throwy ball, or tight pants butt slappers, right? Ah! Well, that's it for this week. Join us next week for Guy's Guide to Football, the sport where people actually use their feet with balls, and points are scored once every two and a half hours, or not at all. Sound boring? It is. <laughs> Hey guys, thank you so much for watching and big thanks to Snickers for making this video possible. Snickers satisfies.
To see behind the scenes footage and bloopers from this video, click the box on the left. And to see another manly video of ours, Makeup for Men, click the video on the right.